Hey everybody, today we're going to look at the B6 Common. Alright, let's check it out. Alright guys. Alright guys, so you can see where I've been testing everything. This is like the weekly spread. Back here is like your monthly. And I love the daily and the common because guess what? There's no weird little header spots that I have to get right. There's no little wash you have to get right. It's just straight up blank grid. So let's have some fun with this joker. Let's do it. Let's look at the monthly kit. So what I'm going to show you is the um, kit number 10. Because I'm in love with kit number 10 y'all. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I love the turtles, the sea turtles. So, you just get two sheets. This is sheet A. You get your washi for at the bottom. You get a sidebar. You get your top strips that are sized very generously to meet the top of the sidebar. You get some uh, scripts, your date squares, some solid dots, and some icons. Really, really simple sheet. And, of course, you're going to get your free scripts. So then on sheet B, you have washi to cover up your extra days that you may not use, some appointment labels, some bill dues, some assorted labels, some deco boxes, deco labels, and there you go. It's It can't be any easier than that, my friends. So let's go ahead and put this down. Look at these washies with these turtles. Gorgeous. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, we just followed the line at the bottom of the boxes here, all the way across. There we go. And I designed the washi to where you do not have to cut it along the bottom. That way you can stack your sidebar right on top of the joker and keep it on a boogie -in. I need to make sure I get it down completely straight, otherwise my sidebar is going to be jacked it up. And I have laid it down a hair tight. So let's let it breathe a little. Whew. Breathe, baby, breathe. Breathe, little turtle. So, let's go ahead and get the sidebar on. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Alright. So, again, the line going up the month. You're just going to set your little sidebar right there. And get it all the way up to the top. And I went crooked. Y'all can see that, right? I know I can. And I'm half blind tonight, y'all. And I can see I went way wrong. Ooh. So, let's get the joker on the line the way it's supposed to be. There we go. And there we go. Now it's crooked down here. Come on. Get it right, Red. Get it right. Get it right. Get it right. There we go. Okay. So now, super easy part. We're just going to lay these strips over here, you guys. And look at this. It's going to go right to the top of that sidebar. It's going to be gorgeous. That's why I gave it a little bit of extra room on, um, you know, the thickness for the strips up here. is so that you wouldn't have any gap, you know, between your bottom washi and the sidebar. I think it's super, super cute. So let's go ahead and get these date squares on because that's going to take me the longest. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. So it's set up very much like the Hobonichi cut. It really, really is. Um, there's really no difference to it. Um, I'm talking about the cousin. And, you know, I just, I like this planner, y'all. I'm thinking this is going to be my planner next year. I really do. This one does kind of make me go blind. Um, but I don't care. I really like it. Paper is very much like the Hobonichi uh, cousin. All the Hobonichis. So, it's not like it's something to get used to. I, the, I think the big attraction for me is... Um, a little bit of extra stuff in the front here of the planner. I'm really attracted to um, like the quarterly, the way they've got it set up, and the blank daily pages. The blank daily pages is pretty much where my heart is right now on it. Because I think that if I use the B6 next year, it's going to be um, my personal, and I'll probably put my faith or my journal in the back. Definitely. I don't think it would be my design schedule again. I think I might go back to the um, 
plum for um, my design schedule. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I really like it. I, I didn't see what all the hype was about when they first came out um, over a year ago. But then when they changed up some stuff and offered it in different sizes, I was like, you know what? <laughs> I really like it. So it's kind of cool. Thinking about this just might be my friend next year. It just might. Either that or it might replace my quad. I'm not sure. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make me a spot in my life to put the, the B6 common. I really do. Because I, I think it's, I, I think the A6 is just a little too small for me. And I think the A5, it, it could be a little smaller. You know, it's not too big. And it's not so big that I'm aggravated with it. But I just think it could be a little smaller. You know, I could use a little smaller is what I mean. So I'm thinking the B, B6 just might be my jam next year. Yes, it might. Yes, it might. And I'm really liking these common planners. If these two sizes sell well, I will consider um, uh, taking requests for other uh, common planners. Because I really do like this this planner. Um, I like the way that my sticker paper comes up from it. Um, it doesn't fight it, just like it doesn't fight it in the Hobonichi. So, if my sticker paper comes up nicely in a planner, especially with thin paper, um, we're going we gonna to work it out. If you guys want some more in this uh, uh, brand, you got to let me know. Really got to let me know. So I'm going to go ahead and put me on some trash cans here. Let's say we took it on Wednesdays. How about that? That's the, well, we don't want it crooked. Come on now. Okay, so we take it every Wednesday according to this planner, right? There we go. Really nice little kit. I love it. Okay, so... That's all kinds of crooked. Let's get that one straight. So let's just say that this month is, um, it's like a, I would say it's probably, it's June. Do I want June up here? You could put June up here. You could put it down there. You could do it however you like. All right, so since we got one box here, I'm thinking I'm gonna use this turtle to blacken that last day of the month. How about that? All right. And let's cut a washi strip up here so I can show you it sized correctly. See, I wouldn't, if it was like four down here, I don't think I'd use this. But if it's up at the top, I don't mind it. Does that make any sense? I'm like really weird. I'll be the same way with the Hobonichi Cousin when I'm planning in it. If it's something along the bottom, I'll probably use boxes or labels. I won't use that long strip at the bottom. But anywhere else along the top, I'll probably use this washi strip. So... Just being honest. Let's hope I don't tear through this paper. It's the same thickness. Did I? Did I? Nope. Close. <laughs> very, very close. So let me show you how nicely these labels fit. So let's say on this week up here. Uh huh. This is one of those. Um. Oh, I had did it for the sidebar in case you guys didn't want the um. Ooh, I messed that up. It'll fit up here. You see what I mean? The width of it. So you can put it anywhere you like. Um, or you can put your date dot over it. I don't want to do that. So that's why I took it up. So let's take a pink label, a pink appointment label, and say that we have an appointment. How about that? All right. And then let's do a rounded purple one. Let's see what that looks like. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we got a bill due. We'll make it blue. Got a blue bill due. Okay, let's say I had an appointment for that one. Uh huh. Let me show you what a date dot looks. I mean, a circle dot looks like in here. So I'm gonna bring it up. This is basically all that's left in the kit. You got plenty of labels. You might have used that washi. You have some full boxes and some larger labels. You have enough circle dots and these other labels to build your own sidebar if you don't like, you know, the whole deal. But this is how it looks in the planner. I think it's gorgeous. I love the sizing. And I think it's amazing. So until I see you for another common planner video. Y'all have a nice day. Bye.